Hi, this is Adewale Ademiwa from StressTherapist.net. And today I want to explore with you the most important thing you can do to prevent difficult emotions from limiting you in life. You see, many people don't realize that the standard approaches to growth, development, and personal development do not work if you struggle with emotional difficulties. But why is this? You see, when asked, many people remember the time where it seemed that they had limitless energy. They could keep going. They could push themselves to the limit over and over and over without any repercussions. But then somewhere along the line, their mental state changed and they lost all sense of motivation. Their enthusiasm disappeared. And now they feel exhausted all the time. Then they find themselves saying things like, I've lost all my passion for life. I've lost interest in everything. I'm so unmotivated. I'm tired all the time. I just can't get myself to do anything. So if you can relate, is it possible that it's because you've borrowed misguided and popular opinions and approaches to growth that actually cause a lot of people to break down? Let me elaborate with some popular approaches. Now, one camp tells you to be resilient, to amplify your strengths to be persistent, to work hard, to do everything you can to the best of your ability. Then another popular camp tells you to repress your anger and make it go away. When you are down, to try your best to think positively. Visualize your goals to make it come true. Repeat affirmations to change how you think and treat yourself with love. The problem though is that both camps are wrong. It's actually not one or the other. You see, in my experience over the last 25 years working in the mental health, if you stay in any one of these two camps, your mental health will still suffer. And that's because the reality is that both camps have their strengths and their weaknesses. So someone who is always compassionate towards themselves may stop criticizing themselves. And this may actually impede growth, which means then you are stuck in the same place never developing, never moving forward. In the same way, someone who is ever only critical of themselves will always feel stressed, will always feel anxious, will always feel run down and depressed. So ultimately, the best approach that works is a system that balances pushing yourself hard with treating yourself compassionately, giving yourself a break. You can even go as far as using system that balances depriving yourself rewarding yourself. And the reason why this works is that the pushing part keeps you from stagnating whilst the compassionate reward inside keeps you from burning out. This is exactly how to prevent difficult emotions from limiting you. Because yes, we have to accept that these feelings are a part of life. We struggle sometimes, but the truth is that difficult emotions do not have to dictate the direction of your life. Mastering this simple strategy will put you in the best place to keep going forward, making progress despite your emotional struggles.